Did it really work? Well, we got into the input pods, and we came out of... The export pods? Diana, look at your watch. 1805. Well, we climbed into the pods around 1.30 in the morning on New Year's. So, we went back in time? But, huh, it could be possible that it's 1805 on January 1st, though. Good point. But it also means it could be two or three days off. Or even three or four years. There's no way to know the exact date or time. Even what we see on this watch could be fake. We have no idea. Um, Sigma, can I ask you something? You were the one who prepared everything on the input console, right? Yes. Where exactly did you set it to? What do you mean, where? The transfer point for the transporter. Uh, I don't know. What? It's not my fault. We didn't have time. I, I, I couldn't read any of the text on the display, so... I pushed a random button. A random? It, it doesn't matter. It's still highly likely we came out in an alternate history. And if that's true... I could be here. Bye! 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 It doesn't look like she's here. This is... we're in. What was that? It won't open. Anyway, let's find a way out of here. We'll talk later.
Why is there a door here? I was right. This door isn't marked on the map. It won't open? Nope. It's locked up tight. It looks like you need to put a code in here. Anything come to mind? <sighs> All I can tell is that it's an eight-digit number. An eight-digit number? Hints around here. Hints. Hints. Wynn's birthday? Hmm. Maybe. If there twins I'm sorry I can't think of anything I wonder if there are any hints around here hints hints I 
can't think of anything. I wonder if there are any hints around here. What in the world is going on? We went into the input pots, and now we came right back out of the same ones. But not the export pots. Did the process fail? No, wait. Hold on a sec. Let me think about this for a minute, okay? I get it now. You understand what happened? Remember what Zero said. This transporter isn't one that simply teleports various objects. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. I remember one time with my grandma years ago. The first time she sent me a fax, she said, The paper came back, Sigma. Maybe it didn't go through successfully. It's the same thing. Just like how the fax doesn't send the actual paper, we too... Our original bodies remain. And only the red data went to the transfer point? But there's one thing I don't get. Why is this me, the one that stays? If our data did end up transferring correctly, it wouldn't have been a surprise to see we were in the transfer point world. So why are we still here? <sighs> Sorry, I know how strange this sounds. It's clearly an esoteric conundrum. Even after thinking extensively on it, I'm not sure I'd figure it out. But I do know one thing for sure. We've run out of cards in our deck. Sigma. It's after 0230. I guess we're not gonna be injected with the drugs. The game is over. There's no more reason to make us sleep. Akane will come back. Right? Uh, if she doesn't, then we'll be stuck here. Um... Sigma, do you want to try again? Try what? Turning on the transporter. It's pointless. We've tried a bunch of times already. We did everything we could, but 
It's still as dead as a doornail. Once a transmutation has occurred, it takes roughly ten months to recharge. So, what should we do for now? I checked out the counter at the bar. Uh, seems like we're good on food for a while. How long will it last? With frugal eating, we'll have enough for nine, no, ten months. That long? I did say frugally, didn't I? My calculations are based on half a can a day. You remembered to include Gab, right? Of course. There's no way I could abandon him. Let's rest for now. We'll figure things out when we wake up. What is it? Does something seem different about this now? Like what? I thought there were balls inside here. Maybe it was your imagination? Eat. Uh, I'm not hungry. Just do it. There's a chance I could remember. Do you mean Phi? How did you... <laughs> I feel the same. For some reason, I can see her face when I come here. Do you... know what this is? Hey! That's Phi's brooch! Why do you have it? I don't know. It was in my pocket for some reason. <sighs> Fi's safe, right? <sighs> I truly wish that's true. I wonder how long it's been now. Two weeks. You kept track? I've been working the wall. It's so peaceful. Really? Does that sound weird? 
There's no war here. No violent murders, no rapes. No innocent children being abducted. Uh, it's all going on in the outside world, though. But at least this way, we don't have to know about it. That's why it's peaceful. No horrible bosses, no annoying drama between co-workers. You don't have to worry about seeing how happy your friends are on social media. Like, I have a new boyfriend, or my child just turned one. Look at all this amazing food I ate at this gorgeous restaurant. I got tired of seeing it. It's all... just like this. That's... Do you know Maeterlinx, the blue bird? This is a music box using it as a motif. What is it? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. So, what about it is the same? You know how, in the end, the bird was in Tiltil and Mithil's home all along? They traveled all across the world in search of it. This feels similar. I guess... I mean to say... Happiness is closer than you think. In this shelter? Yes. I'm sorry, Diana, but your interpretation is wrong. In the original work, the blue bird escapes the cage and flies away. Happiness will slip through your fingers the moment you believe you have it. It's implying that the process of dreaming is true happiness. Well, you just ruined my dream then. <laughs> Touché. Sorry. You won't disappear. Will you? Sigma? Not gonna eat it? Hey, what are you doing? I'm sick of only eating this crap that tastes like dog food. Diana. We've been trapped in here for a month now. What in the world is Akane doing? It's possible that she doesn't remember anything about it. I'm sure she still had the bracelet on when she left here. And if so, then... There's a chance that Zero injected her again, so she'd for... No, that's not it. Akane... Akane betrayed us! She murdered Carlos and Junpei, and abandoned us just to escape on her own. Maybe Carlos voted for Q-Team because she manipulated him into doing it. Diana... What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Half a month ago, you were happy, saying it was peaceful. That was then. This is now. Has something changed? No. Nothing's changed. Not a single thing. That's why I'm annoyed. Yesterday, today, it's all the same. Same scenery, the same can. I feel like I'm losing my mind. It's all Rebecca's fault. She was the head nurse. Ugh, she was the one to suggest I join this experiment. I'm not so sure you should be blaming her. You had another reason for signing up for the experiment, didn't you? You're single now, but Diana, you were married before, weren't you? Yes. 
But why do you know that? When you were married, your husband often resorted to beating you. He was an alcoholic and recently unemployed. He screwed up at work, garnering a large debt, if I recall correctly. When the two of you dated, he came across as serious and kind, but no longer. He drank to his eyeballs, was always gambling, and would laugh while he kicked and punched you. For no reason. That was his true face. Of course you left him. But even after the divorce, he persisted in following you around. He'd ask you for money, sex, and if you said no, he beat you black and blue. He's even stopped by the hospital cafeteria. You were having lunch with a co-worker of yours. He showed up out of the blue, screaming his head off and flipped the table. Every time he went off on you, he'd always end with, I love you. I love you so much, Diana, and weep. His pain called out to you, and you'd always find yourself caving in. In order to cut all contact with him, you figured the only way it'd work would be to seclude yourself. That's when Rebecca brought it up. I heard about a job at an experiment facility called DECOM, so you- Stop! Stop it! What is the meaning of this? Why do you know? Would you believe me if I said I heard it from you? Stop playing around! You should probably stop now. Can't you leave me alone? Hey, what are you doing? You're not acting like yourself. You're the super weird one here. Ugh. It's been a whole month and a half. How can you be so calm about all this? I... I have some experience with this kind of thing. Stop talking your nonsense. Give it back! No. I said give it back! Hey! Look what you did! Hey, stop! <laughs> You're so silly. You thought I was serious? Like, I'd actually like that? Diana, you're... I can't take it anymore! I'm so sick of this! Hey, sleep with me? Of course not. Then sleep with me. Come on, hurry! Oh, I see. You don't have the balls, coward! Then, how about... Won't you kill me? Please... <laughs> Kill me. What are you saying? I'd rather be killed by someone now than wait to die wasting away in this- Just cut it out! Wait! Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs>
I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Forgive me, Diana. I could see how you felt. I knew you were crying out for help. But not once did I offer a hand. I couldn't. If we got too close, then I felt like something would shatter. You said the shelter was peaceful. That happiness could be found here. I knew you were putting on a brave face. In reality, the one who believed what you said was me. It's just like you said. I'm not brave. I'm a coward. To win. Deep down inside, I was scared of change. I didn't. I didn't want to lose you. Like that time. I bet the reverse. I'm so sorry, Sigma. <laughs> I. Have a dream. You want to go to the moon, right? You've been obsessed with it since you were a kid. Even your name, Diana, comes from the goddess of the moon. Hey, Sigma, can you tell me now why you know so much about me? Uh, I've lived with you for three years. So I know almost everything about you. Huh? It's not your fault you don't understand. I'm talking about the future. But this history doesn't mean it's an extension of that one. It's a different one. Okay, so hypothetically, let's say right now we're uh, on this near. If you continue on the path, you'll only reach the end of the right toes. You'll never go to the left ones. I was just talking about the left leg path. <laughs> Sorry, I started talking nonsense again. Sigma? Are you really from the future? You believe me? Yeah, I do. I think it rather makes the dream better. I need to tell you something, Sigma. I may be... Oh, you 
did amazing, Diana. It's a healthy boy. Wait! Hold on! Something... I think... I think... There's another! Cute. You're so cute. Yes. Who'd have thought you'd have fraternal twins? You didn't realize? Well, I did have a hunch. But I couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter, as I'm just glad you gave birth safely. Even in a place like this. It's all because of you, Sigma. <laughs> Thank you. Stop. I didn't do anything. Gave me your food? As soon as you knew, I was pregnant. You were the one who did all the work. Thank you, truly. I couldn't be more proud. You know how people claim unconditional love? I hated that phrase. I thought it was a lie. I thought there's no way something like that exists. Well, I'm a selfish bastard. Every time I help someone, in the back of my mind, I'm expecting recompense. Whether it be gratitude, praise, or a, for a higher power to approve of me. But now, I know. There really is such a thing as unconditional love in this world. There's no doubt in my mind that I give my life for them. Not for gratitude or praise. I don't believe in God, so it's not for God either. I need nothing in return. I don't care if I fade away. I just want them to be safe. And to survive. That's all I ask. Gab, listen to me. You know that biscuit I just gave you? That was the last one. There's nothing else left. Thanks for everything. We've gone through so much pain. You always listened to me when I vented to you. You saved me many times. So, thank you. Diana, I want to show you something. Follow me. turned on. I came by earlier and noticed it. It appears to be completely charged. Sigma, don't tell me. That's right. I'm transporting these two. What? Don't worry. Transporting them doesn't mean they'll disappear. <laughs> their original bodies stay behind after they're scanned. Are you going to say it's pointless? We're out of food. If we simply do nothing. You understand? I'm sure you remember. But it'll take another ten months to recharge. So, you're saying... This would be the last time we can use it, then. Which means... we can't stay with them. I know. Each pod must always leave one body with it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. Where do we send 
Not the future. It's too dangerous. Then... the past? There's no point to send them to the near future. Sometime before Zero obtains this device, they'll have to go before the year 2009. Did you think of a name? What about you? Remember? You promised. I'd name him if it was a boy. And you would if it was a girl. Then we'll start with the boy. Sigma, your name is from the Greek letter Sigma, right? So, I thought, why don't we name our son Delta? My first initial is D. And then to connect that D to a Greek letter... Delta? I like it. What about the girl? Oddly enough, I was considering a Greek letter too. I want to use the one that means the most to me. <gasps> is it? Five. I'd like to name our daughter after her. Phi. I think it's perfect. It's a wonderful name. Oh, hold on just a minute. We gave them their names. It wouldn't be right if someone changed them, would it? Fi's brooch. You're sending it with her? Yes. And Delta, I want to give him this. The Blue Bird Music Box. Are you ready? <laughs> 